good morning, good afternoon, whenever it is for you. Welcome to this very special sneak peek of the SANS SEC 549. I'm so happy to be able to show this course to you to demonstrate its lab environment and to give you all a sense of what you can expect when you take this course. So without further ado, my name is Kat Traxler. I'm the lead author of this brand new course, the SANS SEC 549. This is a full five-day course chock full of hands-on labs which are structured around helping you test your ability to create and recognize secure architectural patterns in the cloud. Let's take a quick look at where the SANSEC 549 sits alongside the other courses in the cloud curriculum. The SEC 549 is the latest addition to a slate of courses offered through SANS. The other core 500 level courses include the SANS SEC 510, the public cloud security course, um, full of the do's and don'ts of cloud security configuration across Azure, GCP, and AWS. There's the SANS SEC 540, Cloud Security DevOps Automation, and the SANS SEC 541, the Cloud Security Attacker Techniques Monitoring and Threat Detection. Um, but of course, we're here today to discuss the 549 and the gaps that it's filling. So why this course? Um, why now? Uh, I wrote this course from a place of optimism. Um, the business value of running on the cloud is clear. We're not in the landscape that we were 10 years ago when businesses were afraid of anything cloud related. Cloud has been the catalyst for some of the most advanced technologies and an accelerant of growth. Where the world is in their adoption of cloud leaves me optimistic because the cloud isn't just an opportunity for business growth or technological advancements. It's an opportunity for the security community to evolve and mature their practices. So we can finally move away from that hard outer shell, soft interior networks towards context aware privilege, designing systems with zero trust. Creating the 549 taught me that if we arm ourselves with the correct principles, we as an industry can build a more secure future. The word cloud doesn't have to be synonymous with insecure. We can build something more secure than our old on-premise networks. We can even meet business objectives with greater availability and confidentiality than we ever could possible with old architectures. And this is my standard warning slide. Um, the 549 is unapologetically an architecture course. The course is overflowing with architectural patterns and design philosophies. We won't be limited to conceptual concepts or discussions. Um, we will be logging into a pre-built AWS environment of a fictional enterprise as it migrates away from a traditional on-premise network to the cloud. So students will be able to get their hands dirty in the console and identify individual resources, how they're configured and how they fit it to a larger narrative and a larger pieces of architectural designs. Let's take a look at the skills training offered from the 549. And when I talk about this, I'd like to group them in around some themes. The first and most important theme I think is business enablement. And the SEC 549 is a business driven approach to cloud security architecture. And to drive that home, all labs are structured around the business goals of a fictional enterprise, Delos Inc. Students serve as the cloud security architect consultant during the breadth of Delos's migration to the cloud from their initial planning stages to implementing more advanced controls on some cloud native business processes. Delos has outlined some initial goals for their cloud migration. First and foremost, Delos needs to support their, their remote first workforce. And second, they need to be able to support business growth um, by relying on advanced technologies only offered in the cloud, such as AI and enriching their data-driven decisions with applications hosted in the cloud. So throughout this course, students are gonna be working to decrease the risk of cloud migrations by planning a cloud migration in a phased approach. They're gonna help Delos prevent identity sprawl and tech debt through centralization. They're gonna enable business growth at Delos by creating some high level guardrails. And most importantly, they're gonna help prevent costly anti-patterns from becoming entrenched in the organization. The next big theme I like to 
to highlight is centralization. It's one of the course's main takeaways is central, that centralization is highly beneficial to the cloud ecosystem. What we're really focused on here is that it's your most, you wanna centralize your most critical security controls so that implementation is not dispersed across silos, but you can enact these centralized controls on child resources outside of a given project or subscription or account. This of course, of course includes centralization of identity to prevent sprawl, but it also includes centralization of network layer controls and ensuring that guardrails can be administered outside of these governed areas. Another huge takeaway is the building of perimeters. The building of identity-based perimeters, network-based perimeters, and data access perimeters. Increasingly, because the cloud's plumbing is so much of these external API calls, so much of the shift has become towards identity-centric and workload-centric controls. The old steady eddy network layer controls are, are absolutely still relevant in the cloud and still take a, a, a precedent in this class. However, they're layered with the use of identity layer controls to create this robust perimeter. And the last theme I want to focus on and, and underline is, is my favorite of the course. It's the architect's role in enabling a SOC and really putting an, an underscore on what's a security architect's role in security operations in the cloud. Helping a security architect understand what logging sources are available, what telemetry they should be capturing from the various layers in the cloud, how that should be centralized, ultimately exported to enable defenders to be able to defend the applications. We also talk about read-only design patterns and we talk about building processes around disaster recovery such as break glass accounts. So without further ado, let me switch over to my lab environment and give you a sense of what makes the labs for the SEC 549 so unique. All right, switching over to the lab environment. I'm really happy to show you um, the labs and why I think they are really unique to SANS courses. I've taken the familiar task of, of diagramming and really turned it on its head, making it into a fun challenge. In this lab in particular, uh, the Dallas organizations found themselves with somewhat chaotic access patterns of accessing data in a large and shared S3 bucket. Right. This s 3s bucket policy has grown large and unruly, and, and it's the student's task to segment access into these more manageable individual policies and place some network layer controls on certain prefixes so we can ensure that some data is only accessed from certain VPCs. Lab work is initially done on this diagramming tool to complete a pattern, but they're real fun of the labs begins once you start to dive into the see it in action portion of the labs, right? So this is when the security architects at Delos use their mentality that is trust but verify. You want to ensure that your requirements have been met. So we dig over to the console, we take a look at that access pattern that we just implemented um, and take a look at what it looks like in real life and see how all the nuts and bolts are fit together. Um, Investigating the implementation of this pattern, we're prompted through a CTF style game that runs all through class. Um, this is going to be prompting your, the students to inspect areas of the console for clues um, and to look at different controls that they might not otherwise look at. And that should do it for your special sneak peek of the SEC 549. Um, I hope that's the wet in your appetite for the course. Um, if you need in for more information, please head over to sans.org forward slash sec549. My name is Kat Traxler. I hope to see you in class soon. Thank you.